How are you feeling? Good. I'm glad to hear it. Don't forget what I told you yesterday. Your body is extremely sensitive now. Exposure to direct sunlight could dissolve you completely. Keep a close eye on your clothing. Don't let yourself get stripped down. I doubt the men who attacked us yesterday will give up quite so easily. I don't think they'll go quite that far. Why do I get the feeling you're just as likely to attack me as anyone else? <gasps> They're here. It's her! We found her! That filthy failure's with her too! Let's smush them both! They're the same as us. Poor souls with a fatal weakness to sunlight. Their sex is not our concern. My mission is to fight them until they're subdued. You should be able to feel it too by now. The power to fight, awakening within you. Come, join me in this battle. Who's that? Broski! You're alive! I hadn't heard from you in three days. I thought maybe somebody chipped you off somewhere. Stare. Who's this lady? She's not part of the Freedom Fighters, is she? Shut it. We all know you still have your V-card. Anyway, you must atone for leaving me alone and worried these past three days. The present situation is thus. There is approximately one little sister standing before you, desiring of a character tea which that shop over there just got in. Your mission? Purchase shirt for adorable sister. I'm happy 
right now. Thanks, protagonist. I'll let it go with just a warning expenditure this time. But next time you disappear like that, you'd better be ready to declare bankruptcy. The other freedom fighters have been really worried about you too. So make sure you've got your story straight when you see them. The longer you wait to explain yourself to everyone, the more danger you'll be in. Also, between you and me, I'm a little embarrassed to see you traipsing about in such shoddy attire. Stop by any time you're back at base and I'll give you a makeover. For a small fee, of course. Just something to keep in mind. The present situation, however, is that this sunlight shines far too brightly for a humble shut-in, such as I. Therefore, your adorable sister shall now coolly take her leave. I'll see you back at base. Your little sister is certainly... unique. So, are we far from the headquarters of these Akiba Freedom Fighters? If we don't get moving soon, we could be attacked again at any moment. Is this... Mogra? Welcome back, Master! Oh! Is it really you? You've been gone for three whole days, man! Where you been? The hell were you thinking, disappearing like that? I thought for sure you'd been kidnapped! And what's with the high-quality 3D next to you? Something smells real fishy here. Now, now, we both know that ain't true. If you're gonna lie, at least make it believable. You serious? Man, I never would have guessed all those rumors floating around Akiba were actually true. Rumors? What, you mean you haven't heard them? There have been like a million clips about it. People getting kidnapped, and turned into monsters, then terrorizing the locals. Yeah, that's... They steal life energy from people. In other words, they drain their vitality, effectively killing all enthusiasm and zeal. So what you're saying is those recent news reports of people being discovered in deeply lethargic states... It's because they've been attacked by these... synthesters? I'm afraid so. I think I understand! This is one of those truth is stranger than fractions things, right? That would be fiction, Kadi. Truth is stranger than fiction. So let me get this straight. You go off to apply for some shady as hell job where your employer somehow drugs you and turns you into a monster? And nothing leading up to that set off a red flag. You are seriously the world heavyweight champion of dumbass. Come on, Toko. He's been through enough already. Besides, 
Getting lured in by L.E. Swag makes total sense, considering who we're talking about. Oh, for the love of... Do you even comprehend how much trouble you've caused everyone? You don't exist in a vacuum, you know! So, ignoring these two for the moment, I believe introductions are in order. I'm Yuto, Yuto Tachibana. May I have your name as well? Mine is Shizuku. Shizuku Tokikaze. We call ourselves the Akiba Freedom Fighters. Together, we voluntarily patrol the streets of Akihabara, keeping an eye out for trouble. He's one of us as well, and this bar serves as our base of operations. That's right! And I'm one of the central figures in our illustrious group. Name's Kaito Tachibana, and the pleasure's mine. As you might have figured out, I'm Yuto's older twin brother. Best way to tell us apart? I'm the one with all the ideas. Is one of those ideas being out of school and unemployed? You shut up! You shut up and you die! Little brothers can't show up, big brothers. It's against the rules. Yes, yes, that's enough now. I'm Kati Raikkonen. I blew on in from Finland to Japan so I could see and do its cool busy culture. Hmm? I believe what she's trying to say is that she flew here from Finland to study the cool culture of Japan. Name's Kihachi Sugiyama. I'm the manager of this year game bar, Mogra, where people can knock back a few while they play these old classic arcade cabinets. Feel free to just call me Pops. Everybody else around here does. But you're welcome to call me Dear Sweet Old Man if you prefer. He's got a face fit for the FBI's most wanted list, doesn't he? <laughs> hey. But he's a good guy. Don't worry. You could have said that sooner, you know. I'm Toko Sagisaka. I grew up with this dolt and just can't seem to get away from him, despite my best efforts. No need for formalities with me. Everybody just calls me by my first name. Incidentally, thanks for saving him. I happened upon him during a mission. It was good fortune, nothing more. There is one other member of our group, but she's like a rare monster spawn. She should pop eventually. Guess you'll meet her then. So, what's the plan? Do we all pile into the police station and tell them Akiba's infested with monsters? They'd never believe a word of it. Why not? I mean, we can show them living proof. You're one of these synthister things now yourself, right? No, no, that's no good. He'd get dissected and have weird sciencey tests run on him. Hmm, so going to the police would involve giving him up as a noble sacrifice. That sounds reasonable. Don't even joke about that. Besides, shouldn't we be more concerned with trying to get him back to normal? I mean, if he stays like this, he'll start attacking people sooner or later, right? That should be no concern. He will not attack others against his will, at the very least. He... he won't? Well, what do you think? You're the one in the hot seat here. Yeah, I guess you did miss three days worth of television. Makes sense you'd want to catch up. By which I mean Toko's right. You really are a dumbass. Seriously, you make even me look upstanding. Hmm... There's still an awful lot I don't get, though. Like, if there's hard evidence of monsters in Akiba, shouldn't the police already be on it? Until we're certain of that, all we can do is our duty as freedom fighters and investigate. Oh! Hey, Tokikaze, would you care to help us out with that? What? Well, I mean, you seem pretty familiar with these things. So come on, what do you say? It is true that I've been researching them. But I'm being specifically targeted by them as well. And I don't wish to involve you all in my affairs. <laughs> I think that ship is already sailed. No kidding. These creeps have already changed one of our guys into some kind of freaky vampire. So yeah, if you can help with that, we ain't gonna stop you. Alright. 
Okay then, perfect! Shizuku, please write your name and cell phone number in the group registry. Cell phone? I'm sorry, I don't have one of those. That's rather unusual in this day and age, but if you don't have a cell number, your email address will do just fine. Um, well... Hmm, sounds like you're a tough one to get a hold of. I guess it would be kind of awkward to ask for your home number, huh? Actually, I haven't been home in quite some time. There were problems. Seriously? So you're an honest-to-goodness, real-life runaway? All mired in melodrama? I didn't run away exactly. And I do have a place to stay. A place with plenty of manga. They even have a shower there. Don't tell me you're staying in a manga cafe. Do you not have anywhere else to go? Mm. Hmm. Seems you've got some heavy stuff going on. Pops, you know, the upstairs here is all stark and bare and empty. Hmm? Oh yeah, you're right. I think we got some bedding squirreled away around here too. What do you say, Shizuku? If you like, you're free to stay on the second floor here for a spell. And we won't take no for an answer. Meeting you like this feels like it's gotta be more than a coincidence. Know what I mean? Having you around can only be to our benefit if we're to continue studying these monsters. It would seem to be a win for all parties. Then we all agree! The Akiba Freedom Fighters have a new member! Three cheers! Bob Om! But wait... I haven't agreed to anything. All right. Just for a little while, though. Thank you for having me. Okay, so here we freedom fighters stand, in the midst of a maelstrom. You said you fought some of these things already, but aside from that, you ever done any real hand-to-hand -hand combat? I never meant to forge anything. You just mean we fight so often you happen to get something out of it, right? I'm not sure I'd even call those fights. They seem to be more like tests of endurance to me. Huh? What was that? N nothing Nothing at all. See, I'm getting a little worried now. Hey, I know. A friend of mine runs a coliseum in Akiba. Or a battle arena, I guess. Whatever you want to call it. Might be a good place to get yourself caught up on the basics of combat. You want, I'll introduce you. For real? What kind of person is this? Who the hell runs a battle arena in Akiba? Just a martial arts nut I know who found herself managing the place, that's all. But she doesn't let just anyone step into the ring. You gotta pass some kind of test first or something. I'll give her a call and let her know what's up. So you better get going. Oh, and take Shizuku with you too. A little extra training can't hurt any, right? <laughs> I think Toko should go with. She can probably force your way in there, no problem. Test be damned. Watch your tongue. I am a dainty and respectable lady. You got that? Seriously, rude much? It's not a bad idea, though. So who will you escort to the arena? Shizuku or Toko? I... I guess it makes sense, actually. You go by yourself, and they'll wipe the floor with you. So for your sake, yeah, I'll go along. The battle arena is on the other side of Main Street and right past Junk Street. You got that? Come on, let's get this over with. Knock him dead!